So this little ten-year-old is not my son at all. It's a synthetic human. Part of me feels duped, just like Kellogg seems he was being led down the... Well, the impression I got from him was he... He's been led into a trap. This old man who's claiming to be my son is called Father, or at least that's what the people refer to him as. And I think the picture that Kellogg was painting is that he felt he had something in for him, and sure enough he did, which kind of begs the question to me is what the hell happened? I mean, the Institute came in to the vault. The goal was to take Sean in order to get fresh DNA, DNA that wasn't corrupted by the radiation. I get that, but why... Why did they leave me in stasis as the backup? Why did they just be so dismissive that Kellogg killed, killed the mother? Why did they not come in and take both? I mean, all, all three. Why, I just don't get that. Such callousness and moral... And there's something wrong about him. I, I don't know whether he's picked it up. I mean, if he is shown, I don't know whether that attitude is something he's picked up by being here, but there, there doesn't seem to be any care about the people on the surface. I mean, you've got supposedly people being kidnapped by the Institute, people being replaced. I mean, I've seen since escaping presumably in fear of what's going on here. The railroad is saying that these synths are treated as slaves, but yet they've supposedly got some level of intelligence being able to think for themselves. So why is it that they're trying to escape? He's he's painting this wonderful picture of what this, the Institute can achieve. But why create artificial human beings? I mean, what what is that end goal to have artificial people? What about the people on the surface? How can they, how can he actually say that what he's trying to do is is all for the people here, all for the people of the Institute? What about the generations who've been living on the surface? I mean, if Piper's right, you're dealing with a, an Institute that deliberately tried to stop the the Commonwealth Provisional Government that brought it to an end. They had that, what was it, that broken mask incident where some synth went off the rails, it seems, and killed a lot of people. I mean, was that the, was that deliberately intended by the Institute? Was it an accident? When it all started, presumably, once Sean was kidnapped and they started creating a Gen 3 synth. Something seriously wrong here. I mean, I want to believe that is my son, but it's plausible, but it's the... I don't know, uh, something's wrong, it's just... Uh, I can't put my finger on it, it's like... If that is my son, that's my son, but... I'm not dealing with a person who's got any morals whatsoever, it's... I need to find the truth. I think I'll just leave my gear here because he's he's told me to go and have a word with the with the other people with the scientists here. So I think I'll do that. Maybe I can learn something. Yeah, what's this? Uh, oh, here, there's a, there's a terminal here. Oh, what does that say? Maybe I can find something out on here. Ah, oh, yeah. Kellogg, eh? Conrad Kellogg. Yeah, because he was getting called Connie, wasn't he? This was written by who, though? Because this could be, could be any director.
So this is written by this guy calling himself Father or Sean. Hmm. That's troubling. He must have had every opportunity to get... I don't know how long he's been in as a director, but he's had every opportunity to get rid of Kellogg, even though he's been a benefit to the Institute. I mean, if this guy... I mean, if I was somebody who learned my mother had been killed by somebody... Uh, trouble is, maybe they don't have the technology or the people to, to kill him. But they must have been able to at least get rid of his augmented... You know, the augmented devices, the kink, the things that were keeping him alive. I'd have wanted them get killed as soon as possible, quite frankly. So was the question then is just could they have done it? Maybe it took somebody like me to do it. Well I know you could have sent a you could have sent a I mean he survived like three well I'm assuming a gen one since, I mean but surely they could have sent loads of courses after him and killed him. I dunno. The suggestion was he kind of arranged it for me to kill him. You can see that, I mean, it kind of makes sense in some respects, but... I don't know. He's saying he knew I was out of Vault 111. He's just he's just stood back to observe and record. That suggests that. This father, Sean, whoever he is, deliberately did nothing to help me. Just stood back and let me go. What kind of person does that to their own flesh and blood, their own father? Why didn't they send a team in to get me out as soon as he knew that I was alive in that vault? And that's a sign, that's the attitude of a cynical, cold scientist. But even your own family? I don't like where this is going. Since shut down. Yeah, I better not touch that. I'll attract too much attention. I need to learn. I need to learn information. I need to learn the truth. Last thing I want to do is cause an incident. Right, let's see, I need to... Okay. I need to meet these division leaders. See what sort of attitudes I can pick up from them. So I noticed some look like buildings for divisions. Almost done. Just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. As far as I'm concerned, the phase-out on these older models can't come soon enough. Oh, I don't know. Most of them have lasted long past their projected lifespans. If you ask me, they were built pretty well. <laughs> I can't argue with that. Even so, I'm ready to see the full Gen 3 roll out. There we go. All set. Unit, you can return to duty. Thanks again. Of course. We're all looking forward to working with you. Okay. Um, Our technology hello? must seem pretty advanced by your standards. Oh, that's an understatement. Um, sorry, hello? You weren't kidding. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. Okay. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much. I think most people would have just given up. 
If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? Well, to be honest, I just wanted to find my son. I wanted to... I just wanted to keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? On board? On board with what? The Institute, of course. Sean implied you operated on a level, if not equal, and at least similar to the rest of us. Curious. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. Um, so, well, who, who actually built this place? I mean, has it been here long? The construction of the Institute is the work of generations of scientists. The original survivors of the war, our progenitors, took refuge in the basement of the old Commonwealth Institute of Technology. Over time, their sons and daughters dug deeper into the earth and built increasingly sophisticated habitats and laboratories. It's a process that's still going on today. Even now, we're digging out tunnels for new facilities and infrastructure. Just think what this place will look like a hundred years from now. I hope I'm there to see it. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, it's can I just ask you some more questions here? Hey, sir. what do you need? Well, what, what, how do you manage to keep up with all the power issues in a place like this? Absolutely. We scratch and scrape for every precious ounce of voltage that we can. Over the years, we've learned a few tricks that help supplement our power budget. When necessary, we can tap into select sources on the surface. We take only what we need, of course. Fortunately, Advanced Systems is always working on new solutions to generate more energy. It's a good thing, too, because the demand is always increasing. <laughs> you don't even want to know what a single use of the molecular dematerializer consumes. Uh, hang, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, uh, Mally. Uh, one more question? Hey, what do you need? Yeah, I mean, what can you tell me about the people in your division? Of course. Dr. Lawrence Higgs is our mechanical engineer. He oversees the major life support and security systems. Power distribution is Dr. Evan Watson's area of expertise, and Dr. Newton Oberly is in charge of food and housing. He coordinates with bioscience to ensure that our meals are balanced for optimal nutrition. We also make use of a number of synth units for low priority maintenance and labor. Hmm. Labor, eh? Greetings. Hello. As the Institute's requisition vendor, I can provide supplies for your missions on the surface. How may I assist you today? Um, well, I uh, sure. Can I have a look? Okay, so... Looks like we've got synth... synth armor. Plasma rifles... Yeah, some medical stuff as well. Hmm, interesting. Oh, let's have a drink. Oh, I really need that drink. That's what I find amazing about these places is the clean water. Oh, bioscience. This is what Virgil was uh, saying he was from. Truth. Gorillas? Dr. Holdren's synth gorilla project is showing promising results. Well, I'm gonna You're make... here. Glad you made it. Feels like this project has been going on for months. Synth gorillas? Truth. Those people are the last. You smell like you've been above ground. Um, not to dwell on suffering. Yeah. There's still people, and they're suffering. We can at least admit that it's regrettable. After all, 
How can we hope to redefine mankind if we can't even hold on to our own humanity? Well, that's a question best left to our colleagues in the robotics division. Yes, well... I suppose you're right. Dr. Carlin's doing some amazing things with our genetically engineered crops. Okay. Hmm. So, uh, hello? Welcome. So good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the bioscience division. Oh, I right. can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. So, I mean, what, what sort of work are you doing then? I was just about to explain that. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of studies such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. Mm. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. Yeah, I mean, that fascinates me. I mean, those, those things are synthetic, then? They are indeed. Judging by your reaction, we've done a good job making them seem lifelike. The initiative is still in its early stages, but the prospects are very exciting. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? Um, well, I don't know. Um, I mean, I'm trying to keep an open mind at the moment, so I'll reserve my judgment until later. It's a big decision, I know. But it's also a rare and important opportunity. No need to rush to judgment. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. So, I mean... You, you, you talked about medical care. I mean, that's something I could do with. Um, so, I mean, what, what, do you, what do you mean by medical care, though? In that case, you'll want to introduce yourself to Dr. Dean Volkert. He's right. our top biologist and also serves as the Institute's resident physician. All Dr. Right. Volkert works in the infirmary. Just pay him a visit whenever you need to. You won't find better medical care anywhere else in the Commonwealth. I'll promise you that. Okay, well, nice to meet you. Well, that's interesting if they're gonna if they're producing like the crops. It's interesting that he had a bit of a concern about what these lot were up to, like, which begs the question of what are they up to? Dr. Orman's lecture on cold fusion was nothing short of a revelation. Please Hello. resist any urge you might feel to eat the specimens in the hydroponic garden. Wasn't even thinking about it. Yes, yes, I'm sure that whatever you have to say is very interesting, but now simply isn't a good time. Right. Um, are you working on something, like, really important, eh? Uh, all of my work is important. I'm now, sure it is. if you're quite finished, I'd very much like to get back to these mental equations. They're difficult enough without the distractions. Okay. Um, when you say equations, I mean, what, what, what are they actually for? Uh, honestly, you wouldn't understand them. Try now, me. I'm afraid I must end this little chat, although it's been so very diverting. Okay. Hmm. Superiority complex. Just what I need. Well, not me, I mean, you know, somebody who's got a superiority complex. Sounds like a scientist indeed. Oh well. I wonder if there's anything on here. Okay. So they obviously knew I was coming. Doesn't say when though. Stuff about having to conserve energy. Zoology, a synth zoology. I mean, it might make sense, like, I mean, uh, if they want to start replacing extinct animals, maybe, that are on the surface. Oh, this looks like some old part of the, the Institute. 
Oh, board it up though. Oh well. Phase two. What the heck is that? Alright, yeah, they're on about creating sea creatures. exactly what Pipe has been saying, it's exactly what what people have been telling me up there. I mean it's not paranoia. Holy crap these these people are actually I mean they're taking people, they're kidnapping people and then they're replacing them with them with a synth. Which kind of begs a question what the heck did they do with the real Roger uh, Roger Warwick? How many other people have they kidnapped and I mean, you can't exactly just like return somebody back from where they came once you've kidnapped them, surely. Jeez. Ah. Purge all surface heavens. Ah, oh, jeez. It sounds like they they kidnap and they kidnap the. The guy disposed of him. So his family's out there carrying out some experiments for them. And if they're gonna clean the place up, I've got a horrible feeling they're gonna get rid of them. And this this father, I mean this is an this is an existing project, I think. So he must be fully aware of it. Don't like this at all. Okay, so trouble with these synths then. This is a list of people who. Yeah, so this IO, somebody called IO has logged in and removed these details. I've already done with the dates, but I've got a horrible feeling this. This thing is still in progress. Dear God. I'm seriously beginning to hope that this guy is not my son. That's... that is just wrong on so many levels. I mean, I don't care what the bigger picture is, I don't... care how, you know, what you... You know what you're you're trying to achieve, what you're gonna gain from it. That is just that's just wrong. You don't just take somebody's life, you know, to justify it as the bigger cause. I, I understand if you're in the middle of a war and you you know, you've gotta drop bombs as collateral damage. You know, you, you do get innocent civilians caught up in it, but you try to you try to minimise that. This is just callously just taking somebody's life. That's just wrong. It's seriously wrong. Well, oh no, F E V lab. Oh, 
hopefully I can get a bit more information on what this FEV thing is then. Oh, and pass passwords are pretty complicated. Um, Hope that nobody actually picks this up because if this has been monitored, I'm stuffed. I think these are. My God. What the heck? What the heck happened to you? These are super mutants. What the heck? I mean, there's one here that's destroyed. I mean, I don't know if somebody threw a chair at it or something, but. Oh, I've got a horrible, horrible feeling. From what I oh, picked up from the storyteller, there was a. This FEV virus, this FEV, whatever it was, it was, it was around before the Great War started, but. You seriously telling me the institute you created these super mutants? How many of these samples that they've taken from the wasteland or the Hang on a minute, Virgil's Virgil couldn't have been a super mutant while he was here, he'll have been a human. I'm wondering, did he inject himself with some some virus, turn himself into a super mutant? And that's how he managed to escape and in order to survive out in the glowing sea. Dear God, this is serious, this. Hmm. Ah, oh, Virgil's personal log. Personal record. Dr. Brian Virgil. This will likely be my last recording. My requests to shut down the FEV program have repeatedly been denied. We've learned nothing useful in the last ten years. Why does Father insist on continuing it? What? If he won't see reason, then I have to take matters into my own hands. What we're doing... It's not right. It needs to stop. If anyone should find this after... After I'm gone... Know that I never wanted to hurt anyone. Anyone! Do you understand me? I'm gonna make sure the whole program is shut down. If not for good, then... at least for years to come. After that... I know what I'm about to do will be seen as a betrayal. Treason, he'll probably call it. So... I'm leaving. I have a plan. And if it works, I'll be somewhere safe. Somewhere not even the Coursers can find me. Everything that we've done. The lives we've taken. If there is a god, may he have mercy on us all. This is painting a really dark, dark picture. And yet this so-called father, he knew of it, and he carried it on. It took someone like Virgil to shut it down. What the heck were these people doing? Um... Subjects? Discarded. Female. Deceased. Hmm. This 
is 2277. Dr. Zimmer. 86. So 86 is where Virgil's come in. That's up to five years. They suggest that they were trying to create. They were trying to create since something to do with these super mutants here. This is why Virgil wanted to stop it because the. The Gen 3s had come along using the DNA from Sean. And yet, even though they were doing well, these tests were still being carried out. And I've got a horrible feeling they were kidnapping people. These people that were getting kidnapped from the surface, they were running tests on them, they were using them, and that's how we got these super mutants. This is wrong on just so many levels. I mean, even the, I mean, morally, the, morally, the very concept of kidnapping people and experimenting on them in order to create these synths is wrong in itself. But once you've then created these Gen threes based on human DNA and yet still carrying this program on, I mean, that's that's appalling. Sean, according to Virgil's holotape, Sean knew, well, I'm saying Sean, I'm assuming he's Sean. His so-called father knew about it. And I think it all went pear shape because of Virgil. And so he shut it down. Or at least he brought a halt to the program. So that's why Sean's had this place shut down. Oh, hey, research notes. Uh, this is Dr. Elliot with the official report for the Directorate from Bioscience. The date is, um, August 2178. I'm pleased to report that, as has been the case during my tenure, crop yields exceed expectations. In point of fact, everything down here is fine with one notable exception. Dr. Frederick has informed me that the Directorate has pre-approved research on samples of the FEV virus, which he already has in his possession. Now, I'm not one to question the Directorate, you all know that. I don't even want to know where this came from, but, well, this is troubling. Dangerous, possibly. I will do my best to make sure risks are minimized. But I really do hope that the consequences are understood. Yes, yeah, so that must have been the early Institute people. Got a hold of an FEV, this FEV. Who wanted to test it. The ethics were questioned early on, but it obviously went ahead. Oh yeah, there's another one over there. This is Dr. Elliot reporting for the Bioscience Division, March 2224. We just received another batch of subjects, but as my previous report stated, we're at an impasse here. More of the same won't help. The two most promising strains of FEV have been adapted to an ideal state, but we're still missing something. I am officially echoing the team's position. The most likely progress for our research on synthetic organics requires new avenues of exploration. Additional Commonwealth subjects will not help. It's the same problem across the board, exposure to too much radiation. We need something, someone new. There's a proposal we'll be putting forward. I am not entirely comfortable with it, but it seems the best course. Yeah, so they were. Sounds like that's what they were doing, is they were kidnapping people. Trying to create this, well, 
create different strains of this FAV. I think. But at the very least, it sounds like they were creating these mutants as byproducts as off. Or something, I don't know. I mean, maybe these were going to be the synths or something. I don't know. But either way, them morals went out the window. I mean, you had people questioning it, but it still went ahead. What troubles me most is it the so-called father knew all about it. I think, I think, I think, I think that was what uh, Virgil was after. Hmm. That sounds like a turret to me. I need to do more exploring. This has really got me troubled now. I'm seriously bothered by this. If these people started off kidnapping people to come up with some new organic material to create synths, and somehow we're creating these mutants. I mean, it's even just kidnapping people's bad enough. But apparently, this father knew about it and carried it on, even when it should have stopped. I'm seriously getting. I'm just seriously going off the idea. <laughs> 